All right, the next part said she then cycled for 30 minutes at approximately 20 kilometers an hour. So I'm going to put this to just a little bit past the 30, like so. And we have the next part of her bicycle ride, like so. Okay, missed that a little bit. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and uh, graph her bicycle ride here. She starts a course at a stop speed, so we'll put the first dot right down here. And the first part of the ride says she accelerated until she reached a speed of 20 kilometers an hour. So some people would put the first dot right at 20 there, but you have to be careful. It took her some time to get to that. Now I'm just going to estimate that maybe it took her one or two minutes. So that's going to be the first um, part of her little journey was how she accelerated to get to that spot. All right. Now the next part of her journey said that she cycled for 30 minutes. So from that point, which I estimate to be maybe a couple minutes, I'm going to go 30 minutes. So I'm going to put just a little bit past 30 right here. Okay. Now as best I can, I'm going to map those out. And we get something like that. Okay, if you miss it, just make your dot a little bit bigger. So the next thing we see is that Sarah arrived at the bottom of the hill and her speed drastically decreased to approximately 5 kilometers an hour. So of course that would have taken her a little bit of time for it to happen, but we would say now that her speed is somewhere around 5 kilometers an hour. That's going to be right in this region right here. So that's going to be the next part of her leg. Went like so. Okay. What do we know that happened from there? Well, it says um, for 10 minutes, she then cycled up the hill at that speed. So 10 minutes would take her to approximately like so. All right, the last part of Sarah's journey says she stopped at the top of the hill for 10 minutes. So it means she was just traveling at 5 kilometers an hour for 10 minutes, and then she got to the top of the hill and was going to stop. So that means that her speed must have come down to zero right here. So we're going to have something that looks just like so. All right, and that says she was there for approximately 10 minutes. And so therefore, what can we say? Well she would end up staying there until approximately that point. Okay, So it's a very rough uh, little diagram. One thing that you can do is you can label these such that we had 0 there, O for the beginning point, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And there's a little bit of leeway for some of these questions, but that's approximately what her journey would be. All right, That concludes this lesson.